that's good. Hi there. And welcome to Cooking with Kev. The cooking show to end all cooking shows. Or perhaps to begin all cooking shows? Or maybe to start some cooking shows and, and end all others. Or maybe just end a couple. The cooking show where we cook and you watch. I cook and you watch. There's only one of me. Today, <clears throat> on Cooking with Kev, we're going to prepare to cook. I'm going to teach you all you need to know to look like you know how to cook. Because there's nothing more important when cooking than looking like you know how to cook. Stick around. Hmm. Say you've got some friends coming over and you're gonna cook for them but perhaps you're not that good of a cook but you want to make sure that they think you're a good cook because if they think you're a good cook the food that they eat will actually taste better so you've got to look the part now you might be thinking to yourself but Kev I don't own an apron I don't own, um, you know, a, a white jacket with buttons and my name embroidered on the chest. I don't have one of those tall hats or one of those hats that looks like a big set of buns. Well, that's okay, because I guarantee in your kitchen, you got one of these. A dishcloth. That's all you need to look like you know how to cook. Let me show you. Take your dishcloth. Open it up like this, okay? You're going to fold it once, you're going to fold it again, and then you're going to take that neatly folded dishcloth and just sling it over your shoulder. Now look at that. I look like somebody who's doing something. I look like somebody who's cooking, who at any moment is going to whip that thing off because he's got to deal with a spill or grab a, a hot pot handle look like a mover and a shaker. And all it took was a dishcloth. Now, while you've got that there and you're cooking, make sure that your guests arrive while you're cooking. Because not only does it create a really nice social barrier, if you're not somebody who likes to talk very often, but it also makes it look like you're really involved in this meal that you're going to make for these people that I guarantee, once they see this, they're going to enjoy. Okay, something else that you're going to want to have on you at all times is a utensil. Um, ideally, a wooden utensil. Why? It looks more professional. It looks homey, old-school, professional chef. Keep it in your back pocket. Because that way, if they see you with it there, it looks like you're ready to just whip that out and stir something or taste something. You can also gesture with it, you know, like uh, pointing and, hey man, you know, uh, cut those carrots. Like you're really in charge. Um, it could be any kind of wood utensil, it doesn't matter. Uh, a wooden spoon, uh, whatever this thing is, as long as you have it with you, you're going to look the part. Alright, if your guests are here and are watching you doing your thing, Stir, man. Always stir. It doesn't matter what you're making, what it's in. Stirring is important because you know what? It doesn't doesn't really do anything anyway. It's just it's just doing this. So make sure you're stirring. You could also even just grab the thing, you know, and 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 do this with it. You know, if it's a saucepan, if it's some other kind of thing that you put food in, just just do that a couple of times. Move the food around. 
um, and smell it. You can you can get right down there. Hmm. Not a few times. Yeah. Okay. So we've talked about wearing the dishcloth. We've talked about having the utensil. We've talked about stirring and smelling. You follow these steps and you're gonna look like you know how to cook. But if you want to really impress your guests, we're gonna bump it up a notch. Well, all right, there it is. Exactly what you need to make yourself look like a very advanced chef. Before you even start cooking, you're gonna lay out your ingredients in little bowls and on a plate and on a little thing here, whatever that is so that it looks like you know what you're doing. Everything is pre-measured, sort of. If you got it all there, all laid out, look how good that looks. And you're gonna turn this into an amazing meal. It's very, very impressive. Um, especially these nuts. Mm. Yeah, they're good. Now, admittedly, this is gonna add a little bit of prep time to what you're making because essentially you've got to take all your ingredients out and arrange them and prepare them on their own. But look at that. That is so worth it. It's going to be really impressive. Well, thanks for joining me today on Cooking with Kev. I'm very glad you were able to be here, and I'm very glad that, that I was able to be here. And since this is a recorded video um, on the internet, you can, you can certainly watch it as often as you like to make sure you get all of those tips down. I learned a lot today, and uh, I hope that you have learned a lot today as well about dressing to cook and about preparing to cook. Be sure to, to like and favorite this video and share it with your friends, especially those who might need a little bit of help in the kitchen. Subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to see more of Cooking with Kev, and if you have any comments or questions, you can leave them in the comment boxes below this video. Especially if you have any cooking questions, perhaps I'll read them out on the air and, and answer some of those pressing cooking questions that you might have. I'll see you again next time. So good.